Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX Avalanche. Um, yeah, Avalanche currently going all in line with expectations. The price is coming down as expected here towards the target area for that um, here in yellow highlighted second wave and also wave C. So the price has, as I said in the last video, um, turned around up here already. Talked about that um, alternative wave pattern here that I've had on the chart now for pretty much a couple of weeks, I think. Um, and that this is, in my opinion, now the most likely wave pattern, a fairly bullish one, which, however, assumes that we first come down before we um, go up. So the, the story is here that we have completed here a larger wave two that was back in um, January. Since then, we have come up in a smaller. So basically, we're now in a larger wave three. And in this wave three, we have completed the wave one. And we're currently in the completion of the corrective wave two, which consists of an A, B, C. And in my opinion, we have already completed the wave B. This is never guaranteed. Yeah, we can without a doubt come up here once more to the same height potentially, and then come down once more, uh, finally into the target area. So there might be a bit of volatility here, but the fact that we have now dropped below the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average pretty much confirm for me that we might get there uh, sooner than expected. Um, or not, not really than expected, but you know, rather sooner than later, really. So in the last video, I told you that um, in line with this wave count, actually, we already could identify a bearish pattern. So you identified here, or we identified here, this head and shoulders pattern. Yeah, just above this cluster of support, the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average had a bit of a neckline going on here. Yeah, and this is now broken. And I said in the last video as well, that the target of that head and shoulders will lead us directly into my target area here for that wave two from where I expect the price to turn around again and then would go into a wave three. And in terms of that wave three, we can expect price levels of above 130 US dollars. I need to see, however, where the price in that wave two really comes down into in order to calculate properly the Fibonacci extensions of that third wave. Yeah, so that might change a little bit, but it's here for orientation. I don't expect it to change that much, but it could be a little bit above or below $130. Now, I am personally going to buy in, in this area into Avalanche. Yeah, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to use this as a buying area. It is currently located between 58 US dollars and um, 70 US dollars. Bear in mind what I normally do. I set my buy orders a little bit higher than the entry point because sometimes it's not quite reached and sometimes it might just be a wick and um, yeah you know you sometimes miss it you don't want to miss it just because of a dollar so therefore I set it a little bit higher that's what many people do set buy orders a little bit higher than the target area and set pro take profit orders a little bit lower than the um, the actual target area yeah um, and that way there is a higher probability that they actually get um, triggered and fulfilled as well or filled yeah, and that's pretty much what I can tell you. I mean, it's looking good at the moment, all in line with expectations coming down. Again, in this area, I would expect the turnaround. This is here the area between the 88.2% FIP level of that wave one. Yeah. Um, no, let me just adjust that. It needs to be here. Yeah, there you go. That matches of that wave one here. 88.7% FIP level at $58 and $70 is the 61.8% FIP level bear in mind, yeah, and I say that because it's up to you when you buy. Um, I'm not telling you that with a guarantee the price is going to land here. This is all about probabilities. So far it's working out nicely, yeah. And I did stick with this whole scenario despite that move up. Yeah, I showed it to you, I think, when we were somewhere here uh, early in March and we have moved up in this wave B, but for me that was no reason to change the scenario because this is in a wave B scenario. It can overshoot the wave one slightly. So again, um, it, it proved to be right turning around here and it could already be that we see the turnaround at the 50% FIP level. Yeah. So if you are interested in buying personally, I'm not going to buy be before I, uh, before it reaches the 61.8, but it could be that it's turning around earlier because, um, in a wave two, yeah, a wave two theoretically does not need to retrace more than the 50% FIP retracement, but knowing the crypto market, I think it will. It typically does retrace more than the 50% 50, 50 FIP retracement at 76 US dollars. So therefore, I think it's going to come down a little bit lower, at least to the 61.8% FIP level. And then, yeah, we should see the turnaround 
to a wave three, should then come down in a wave four again, and then do that final wave five. Bear in mind, this would only be a higher level degree wave three, where again, you get a higher level degree wave four, and then a higher level degree wave five, and there should be some nice upside potential. That's how I currently see the market. No financial advice, of course. Everybody needs to make their own buying and selling decisions, but hopefully these videos can give you a little bit of orientation in the market and give you an understanding of where we are and where I see the market go. In addition to that, we can also see the momentum indicators shift down. So on the four hour chart, we saw that MACD push down here on the eight hour chart as well. So the momentum is coming down. We are not yet oversold on these time frames. Therefore, on the daily, we are also not oversold. So that would be in line with my expectation here that we come come can come down a little bit lower. Yeah, so that's my view on AVEX. Um, hopefully you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership where you can get access to the Telegram live chat groups, the Discord server, my own buy and sell orders, and also the weekly live stream. Um, and yeah, so do that. You can do that on my website or you can check that out here on YouTube. And for all of these things, you can find the video, the links in the video description. Make also sure that you join us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. And again, for that, you can find the links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.